The Fox Kids version of 2000's The Digimon Movie gave us a lot of things. It gave us our first look at fan favorite Digimon, like Omnimon, Terriermon, Big Greymon. It also gave us the Angela Anaconda Digimon crossover that nobody asked for. And of course, it gave us the kooky English dub full of jokes like this. But one other thing that Fox Kids version of the Digimon movie gave us, maybe the best thing of all, was this insane licensed soundtrack full of late 90s, early 2000s hits that, looking back, defined a lot of what Kid Me thought was good music. The Bare Naked Ladies, Fat Boy Slim, Smash Mouth, Len, and all that ska. 20 years later, the Digimon movie soundtrack is this hilarious time capsule you could put on a Spotify late 90s pop playlist to feel nostalgic, or you could put on the Digimon movie soundtrack. But one thing I've always wondered is do the bands know how many fans found them through this weird chimera of a film? Heck, did the bands even know what a Digimon is? So, with nothing better to do with my time, my search for answers began. I decided I would just go straight to the top of my list and ask the band responsible for my personal favorite song in the film one week. I needed to know if the bare naked ladies know what a Digimon is. I dug through the internet for answers looking for interviews, red carpet clips from the year 2000, or any instance of BNL acknowledging Digimon or their role in the film, to no avail. I knew if I wanted answers, research wouldn't cut it. I needed to go straight to the source and ask myself. I was going to ask the former lead singer of the Bare Naked Ladies, the man responsible for that impossibly sultry It's been the SoCan award-winning artist Stephen Page. I only had one shot at asking this ridiculous question, so I needed to find the best way to do it. Stephen Page has an agent, and that agent has an email address I could write to, but there was no way a single question, hi, uh, does Stephen Page know what a Digimon is, would get past his agent? They would just see that email and block me for life. So instead, I took to Twitter, where I discovered Stephen Page's social media presence had taken on a new life ever since 2020, when a lot of sheltering in place had kicked off, Steven had been connecting with his fans online virtually through Twitter and Instagram, hosting these very sweet live digital concert Q&As, playing songs, old classics, and really just doing his part to keep everyone in his fan community connected and smiling through 2020. I can't stress enough how admirable I thought this all was, but anyways, back to Digimon. Seeing how active Steven was on Twitter, answering questions basically anytime someone tweeted at him, I thought this was the best shot I would ever get to ask the singer such a stupid question. And I took it. 8.12 p.m. I tweet, I'm obsessively wondering if at Bare Naked Ladies have any idea what Digimon is. I know that they're aware the Big Bang Theory theme did wonders for their visibility, but did they know how many kids discovered them through this scene in the Digimon movie? Insert a clip of one week playing. 8.40 p.m. CC Mr. at Stephen Page. 20 years removed, do you know slash remember what Digimon is? Your song had a prominent spot in its big movie. For 41 agonizing minutes, I waited in silence until a notification on my phone from Twitter. Stephen Page replied to your tweet. 9.21 p.m. I sure do. Love that movie. There it was. Stephen Page confirming that he knows what a Digimon is, and in a bonus delight I couldn't have ever dreamed of, Stephen confirmed that not only was he aware that his band contributed music to the film, but he watched the movie and he loved the movie. This was mind-blowing to me. Like I mentioned before, I could find no trace of the Bare Naked Ladies' current members or former members like Stephen acknowledging Digimon anywhere on the internet, and here was Stephen Page, the former lead singer of the band, confirming he remembers Digimon, he watched Digimon, and he loved Digimon. Hoping to catch one more interaction with one of the most important singers from my childhood, I sent one more reply thanking him and pointing out the other heavy hitters that kept BNL company on that soundtrack. No written reply this time, but I did get a like from Steven Page, which to me signaled that he too recognizes how bonkers this soundtrack was. The question that had haunted me for years was finally answered. Granted, there were four other Bare Naked Ladies to ask and countless other bands to poke, but knowing that Steven Page, Mr. It's Ben himself was a fan of the film, I felt content. So yes, at least one bare naked lady remembers Digimon and loves Digimon. It may not be as funny an answer as Danny DeVito saying, what the f*** is a Pokemon? In fact, it's almost the exact opposite, but it's so on brand for Steven Page and the bare naked ladies. Looking back, of course the band that sung lyrics gotta get in tune with Sailor Moon because that cartoon has got the boom anime babes that made me think the wrong thing. Of course those guys were otaku disguised as rock stars. If you, like me, loved One Week and its role in the Digimon movie, I do highly recommend checking out what Steven Page has got up to in the late 2000s and in recent years years, he's since left the Bare Naked Ladies and put out several solo albums where his incredible vocals are front and center. I'm gonna be spinning Bare Naked Ladies for the rest of the day in honor of Digimon. And now a little epilogue to this weird story. It turns out not only does Steven Page remember and love Digimon, but so did his son. In a 2021 TikTok with over 1 million views, Isaac Hunter Page shared the following story, quote, Growing up, I'd sometimes get asked, Isaac, what's it like being the son of songwriter and former member of the Bare Naked Ladies, Steven Page? And to that I'd say, overall, pretty great, but on more than one occasion I've had 
had experiences completely ruined by his music. As a kid, I really loved Digimon, but I was never allowed to watch it for some reason. One day, my parents said that we could watch the Digimon movie, and I was so excited, then partway through the movie, I hear a simple, It's been! And I lose my mind. That's my dad. My dad can't be cool. He can't be in the things I like. Thanks, Stephen Page. Thanks, Bare Naked Ladies. And thank you, Digimon, for making our childhoods so great. Thanks for watching. Have a great week, and I'll see you in the next video.